How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting. Welcome back to Miniature Garden. Okay, so <laughs> the crap's hit the fan. Uh, we were dancing around it for a while, but I was really getting I was really getting edgy about Itsuki, and I was right. He turned out to be the psychopath who might have been sent in to guarantee that we all die. Probably was the one who sent us here too. So Oh yeah, and by the way, he like maced us in the face. Oh yeah, he's killed Samika. He's maced us in the face, so we like were, were like pretty much just helpless on the ground. And he captured Ayana and took her away. So now we're gonna have to go and try and chase after him. I have a feeling we're not gonna like what we find, since he's a freaking psychopath. Which just sucks, because I like Ayana. But I have a feeling we're gonna learn more about her before we see her demise. But I don't know, we'll see, man. Alright, let's go for it. As I left the principal's office for real, went on to look for Ayana and Suki. The sky was already pitch black outside the window. And now time moves forward. Great. Wonder where Itsuki and Ayana could be. Nine. What? What's not here? Huh? Komiya was rummaging around through her plush toy bag. Uh-oh. What's not here? Good answer. Uh-oh. Huh. So did he take it from you? You think you dropped it somewhere? Uh-oh, what? She raises her face as though having realized something. What? Yeah, I think he had a... I mean, obviously, if he was paying attention, he pegged that she keeps stuff in that when, she saw, when he saw her put the note from the principal's office in there. Really? I, of course, couldn't have seen that either. But if Mia was right, then does that mean Itsuki is in the old principal's room right now? Great. Just, just, just great. Let's go find the psychopath. I see. Indeed, that place was always locked, just like the other doors to the stairs leading to the storage room. And while Komiya said she only happened to have the key back then on the roof, I'm pretty sure she prepared it beforehand because of how darn suspicious the place was. Uh, let's just get over there. Komiya gave me a nod, and we ran down the corridor towards old, the old principal's room. It's, it's nice that we're with the other person who's also relatively calm, but it is suspicious that we really aren't even a... Like, like we're just taking it in stride. Just... Just kind of just going with the flow. It's almost like we're not real. But our names were scratched off. We're meant to die, apparently. As we came close enough, I realized that the doors to the room we left were wide, were left wide open. It was closed before, right? <laughs> great if we had a weapon! Gomia calmly closed the door and I followed, clo uh, closed into the door and I followed her. She took a careful peek inside. Ayana. Oh, fetch. And cried out her name in surprise. She warily enters the room. What was going on there? I took a peek inside myself. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay, Ayana was there, tied to a chair. She seemed to be pretty out of it, vacantly staring at the floor, but I didn't think she was unconscious, at least. So maybe she's having another, like, lapse in her, like, memory-jogging fiascos. Or he's drugged her. I mean, he had a can of mace. He could have something else, too. Ayana, are you hurt? Okay, yeah, hi. She gave me a weary look. What happened in the short time we got separated? Mm. Komiya reached out to the strings, tying Ayana down. Did he cut those down from the curtains? Okay, hang on, hang on. It's great you're letting her out, but where is Itsuki? Where is he? Holy crap, get your eyes on him or you're dead. Stop it! Oh no. What? Ayana stopped Komiya with a scream. Ayana. What the heck? Komiya gave her a puzzled look. What was it now? I looked around at Ayana, but I couldn't find anything that looked like it was atta attaching her bindings to, trap, uh, to a trap or anything like that. Uh, Oh, okay. So she's given up, and she just doesn't want to. She just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Why the heck is that? Actually, why the heck? Where the heck is Azuki? 
I look around, but I could find only Ayana inside the room. I returned my eyes to her, but whether she was blackmailed or acting for her own reasons, she didn't seem like she wanted to talk. Uh, dangerous? Realizing the same thing, Kamiya started towards the shelves. The room next door? Wasn't that the broadcasting room? As I was looking for Kamiya, uh, Kamiya with confused eyes, she placed her hand on one of the shelves and just slid it aside. Slid? What the? Behind it, another door appeared. That's cool! <laughs> Okay. You know a lot. That's right. Ayana, did Itsuki go that way? Ayana just gave me one small, reluctant nod. Be careful. Showing a hint, no hint of hesitation, Komiya proceeded downstairs. There's no telling what else Itsuki might be hiding. Be careful. I addressed her back. Like, please do. I... Literally, I'm running out of sane and, and, and living people here, so... With that, she disappeared into the darkness downstairs. I couldn't really trust her to be fine just like that. But I couldn't leave Ayana alone either. I was worried about Kamiya. But as far as I could tell, Ayana was now in, much more dangerous, uh, in a much more dangerous state. Ayana, did Izuki do anything to you? I tried the same question again, but Ayana just continued staring at the floor with not a word of acknowledge to acknowledge my existence. Oh man. What's wrong, girl? Tell me. Oh, we're gonna change perspectives. Last time that happened, someone died. Yeah, crap. Someone's about to die. I descended the stairs. The light from the phone was the only thing guiding my way. <clears throat> I had to be careful. I wanted to save everyone, not hurt them. If it was possible, I wanted to take care of this as peacefully as possible. I finally reached the door at the end of the stairs and slowly opened it. What waited for me beyond was a room as small as a storage room, but it wasn't cramped. More dark right now. <sighs> Kill him? I don't know. Itsuki, who was sitting at the desk and reading through some papers, addressed me without raising his eyes. So, I I took a few steps closer to him. Two of the drawers in the desks had been locked, and I'd had no time to think of an alternative way of opening them. Meanwhile, Itsuki seemed to have no problem with them, and was now reading the rest of what had been hidden in, in the desk. Because that's a sane thing to ask right now, sure. Yeah, that's one way to do it. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like him at all. He is too cold for having murdered somebody. Ah, the cheese. Itsuki finally looked at me, dangling a key between his fingers. I didn't notice it back then, but his hands seemed to be stained in something red. For a moment, I saw an image of him stabbing Samika, but I pushed those thoughts aside. I had not to. I had to concentrate on the matter at hand for now. The key he had in his hand was the same one I had that he took from me, the one that unlocked the main doors to this room. That's annoying. She could have unlocked them. Yeah. It's true. Komiya-san ほど起点の聞くことがその可能性を考えなかったそれともあせって先入観を覆せなかったのかなうーん。I <笑> Right. He handed me the two pieces of paper he was just reading. I ran my eyes through them. I wasn't as knowledgeable about this as Mother, but I could tell. It was a protocol for drug synthesis. But was this really about the antidote? If I brought this back and showed it to Mother, she would probably understand. I had to take them with me. 
I read my eyes through the second page too. What is he doing? What is he doing while you're distracted? At the bottom, I had a date from 16 years ago and a signature. A. Igusa. Igusa. Didn't I just hear that name somewhere? <laughs> and. Here we go. As the name momentarily shocked me, Itsuki ducked behind me and caught me in his arms. Fetch. He seized my neck with one hand and dangled the knife in front of my eyes with the other. It was already stained in blood. あなた。やっぱりスミカ。いや。ああ、見たんだ。あの方がシバヤさんのためだったと思うけどね。Her existence might not have been natural, but that didn't mean we had to kill her. She only attacked us because she was confused. I mean, she already met a terrible end because of this school, and now... Well, yeah, but still... Right. His voice had an odd, vicious, condemning quality. The cold tip of the blade touched my cheek. Uh-oh, so we're a big piece of this puzzle. His tone deepened. I don't know. Why did you find that book? Is it something important? Ah, fetch. If it's true, I don't know the relationship with Yasunari. Okay. He released his hold from my neck, but the moment I felt myself flung towards the wall, I slammed into it and crumpled down onto the floor. Itsuki, you... Yeah, why are you staring at that knife like that? Like... <laughs> what? That, that didn't even make any sense, dude. Absolutely psychotic. Oh no. I jumped as the knife pierced the wall just to the left of my face. Huh? Why was I so scared? F and kid, this is what you deserve. Oh no, not in memory. <laughs> that was. This time, I could feel the cold sensation of the knife on my thigh. Knife. Who gave you permission to talk, huh? <laughs> oh, fetch. Uh, just going down a path I don't like at all. I was fine. I would be fine. Itsuki wa... Sore o shite... Do... Itta da ro... Fukushu shita in da... Sono tame no jouhou ga hoshi. Revenge against who? And why? Fukushu te... Tsubu shita in no... できないって言うのか。相手にしてる対象の大きさくらいは覚悟してるよ。でもこうやって小さなところから思い知らせてやることはできる。So are we really on the same side as the as oh man? 違う。それなら協力して。ふざけてるのか? Oh no. Oh no, don't you oh you jerk. A sharp pain in my thigh. I could see blood starting to spill from the wound. My heart rate increased. My head felt dizzy. It hurt. It hurts. Well, that's great. Jeez. Oh, fun. I could feel the knife slowly ravaging the inside of my leg. Oh, gosh. Making sickening sounds. <laughs> come on, come on, someone come and help her! It hurt, it hurt, it hurt. Why? Why did I do to deserve this? <laughs> I 
Yeah. Okay. Gay real moment here. In times of horror or times of extreme stress, uh, the mind will sometimes snap back to a previous time where you felt you were in that much danger. And that seems to be what we're seeing here. Holy oh, crap. I knew that there was no one there to save me. But it was probably because I did something bad. That was why my mother abandoned me, and I had to be punished for days on end. Jeez Louise. I had to be strong. He'll have forgotten by tomorrow. <laughs> yes, he just doesn't like people who are given the drug to forget things. Uh, the scary man seemed to be leaving. Today wasn't that bad. But still hurt too much for me to stand. It hurt. Someone. It's so nerdy. Crap on a cracker. Ugh. No! The answer to that question is no! I wonder if Komiya's doing okay. And I uh, just staring at the ground, saying nothing for this whole time. Ayana, don't your hands hurt like this? She had them tied behind her back. I guess it wasn't as bad as she was tied to a real rope, but it still looked pretty stiff and uncomfortable to me. Hey, I'm gonna untie you, okay? I couldn't look at her like this anymore. I placed my hand on the strings, but Ayana didn't flip out this time. She was still conscious, right? It was pretty late, and I was worried about those side effects or whatnot. I gave her a close look. Her eyes were looking hollow like before, but it definitely didn't seem like she was unconscious. Dang it, Suki. He really tied her hands hard, tied her hard there. I finished untying the strings around her hands for starts. But as I was about to move to onto her legs, one of her free hands suddenly seized my shoulder. Ayana! Her eyes were still fixed on the floor. I, I wasn't going anywhere. I was just going to untie your legs. Uh... No? Uh, what? What the heck was she talking about? Wait, what? Ayana raised her face in protest in some sort of twisted smile. Oh, fetch. Do you even understand what you're saying? What the fetch is happening? What? I looked at her legs. I couldn't see blood or any marks to indicate that any of that. That doesn't make any sense. Just look at them yourself. I placed my hands on the string tying her legs. <laughs> what the fetch? What is going on? How are we supposed to win? I held her down so she wouldn't fall over with the whole chair. It was pretty clear she was completely out of her mind. Was that how it got when the drug took full effect? It's all going to be fine, okay? I knew she wasn't listening, but I continued to untie her. Her legs were tied as hard as her hands, but I somehow managed to get the strings off and despite her constant struggling and shouting. <coughs> A plus to the voice actor, holy crap. At that moment, Ayana lets out an ear-piercing scream, almost as though she was about to get murdered. Ayana, your legs are fine, look, look at them. There was nothing wrong with her legs at all. Good grief. Storms and rust and ruin and all the curses of the ten. Ayana screamed through the sobs and not even trying to raise her face. I was doing nothing wrong, but I nonetheless started feeling bad. Oh, fetch. Now we gotta deal with that crazy psychopath. Oh. I heard Itsuki's mocking voice coming from the secret entrance. I turned toward it to see Itsuki closing into us with a smile. Ayana-chan wa mou seijou na mono ga miete nai in da kara. Motto jouzu ni tashiname na kya. What the heck did you do to Ayana? And where's Komiya? Komiya-san nara, shita de kiyo shinatte ryo. He took the strings from my hand and kneeling in front of Ayana. Unconscious. Gomen ne, Ayana-chan. 
Ima naosia. Ignoring my question, Atsuki addressed Ayana in a distinct and disgustingly sweet voice and proceeded to tie her legs again. His hands were covered in blood. Ayana wasn't resisting him. She rubbed her tears off, but I could still hear a sob or two escaping her lips. Whatever this was, it was insane. No freaking way! After finish trying, after finishing trying <coughs> tying Ayana, Izuki stood up again and considered her with pitying eyes. Kawaii Demo, kore wa seito na bats da. Ima made raku o shita bun, ima kurushimu no wa tozen da yo. I get it. I think I get. I get, I get the picture now. Is the fact that he feels like it's unfair that some people get to just forget terrible things that they've done. The heck are you talking about? I couldn't comprehend a word he said. Rightful punishment? All the fun? Finally, he shifted his gaze to me. He brushed some blood off his face with a sleeve and, fo and faced me with a dead serious expression. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I was. But Kamiya told us all about it on the roof. The school was manufacturing weird drugs behind the scene and using us as guinea pigs. His face grew even more serious as he narrowed his eyes. Oshete kurenai ka? Yasunari wa hontou ni hiken taishou na no ka? How the heck am I supposed to know? There was a weird mask cro mark crossing out my name in that registry. That's what it means, right? <laughs> Itsuki fell into thoughtful silence for a moment. And even if I was a test subject or whatever, it would mean I was administered the drug and experimented on without my knowledge. I couldn't give him a clear answer. But adding what I knew to my parents to what Komiya told me, well, that possibility was probably pretty high. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right after I was called outside by the inner yard by an underclassman. それは実際には相関する副作用の発症合図なんだ。だから本当に殴られていなくてもその発言はおかしいものじゃない。so you were lying about getting yourself getting hit yourself. Ah. Uh, right. I was about to protest, but decided against it. Good man. Alright. So what? Orewa.薬の副作用に侵されたさっき耐えられず屈したのに。確かに。もしかしたら安成は薬との相性が抜群にいい体質だったのかもしれない。Can we be like grabbing a weapon? Something? Then... ただ、小耳に挟んだんだ。What? He interrupted me before I could reiterate that it was nothing in particular strange with me at all then. 表向きは国民の健やかな生活のためとされているこのプロジェクトが実はただ一個人の Okay. Is that a fact? I didn't even know about this apparent surface excuse. Right, and so in order to get back at him, it just makes sense to go on a psychotic murder spree. Yeah. So she しかしその鍵のついた引き出しから。A。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Igusa。Ig
Egusa Akanori keep coming up in relation to this school. But I really don't know anything until today. I haven't even met my parents since I was born. Okay. You're saying someone just made me forget everything before this. そして薬によって抑えられていた記憶が呼び起こされてしまった時にあやなちゃんや小宮さんのように一気にあふれ返った精神ストレスで崩壊するそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう
You look like you're being affected by that stupid drug yourself. If you can understand what I'm saying, then join us, dang it. <laughs> Itsuki hung down his head and fell silent. I wonder if that made him calm down a little. No, 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 no. Huh. <clears throat> Crap. But what I heard next was a quiet laugh. <laughs> get the knife, get the knife. <laughs> Great. It grew louder and louder. What did he find so funny? <laughs> His face is a mask of sarcasm. What do you mean, so what? それで、それで仮に今年で何もかもが終わったとして、過去に犠牲になった人間は生き返るの？すぎた人生が戻ってくるのか？It's he picked up the knife. I prepared myself, but he just returned it back inside his jacket. Mumbling, he returned back. He returned back to me and seized my collar. Okay. Oh, with that he punched me right in the face. It was his right fist before I could even react. Now it was my turn to collapse to the floor. Luckily, I didn't bite my tongue or anything, but I imagine that'll leave just a, that'll that'll be at least leave a mark. Wonderful. Hisuki looked down at me with a smile. He continued, これも噂だけどね。この学園には証拠隠滅のために一発でこの校舎を処理する装置があるらしいよ。Right. What the heck is that supposed to be? I stroked my aching cheek. So, Wonderful. So you want to compete to see who finds the, the thing, their thing first? Ah. Wonderful. Great. Awesome. But we aren't planning to kill you. So you Right. Oh yeah, sure. She hurt her leg. Right. She threw herself on your dagger. What? With that, Itsuki silently left the room. Ayana sat all limp in her chair. Was she alright? Morita came close to her, but she seemed to be breathing steadily. It seemed like she was just asleep. Relieved, I took my jacket off and put her uh, put on it on her shoulders and hurried down the stairs to look for Komiya. Fetch. God damn. Be okay, please be okay. There's gonna be a big puddle of blood, isn't there? As I entered the dark underground room, I noticed Komiya laying with her back against the wall right away. There's a pool of blood at her legs. He said she was hurt, but it seemed like her leg, that was most likely the source of the pool of blood, was already bandaged with something white. Really? What? Did Komiya do that herself? Komiya, can you hear me? Komiya! I was a bit hesitant to move her in that leg, so I lightly slapped her cheeks a few times. With that, her eyelids slowly opened, and her red eyes fixed on me. Yasunari. Ouch. Yeah. She tried to get up, but the pain in her leg was most likely too bad to allow her allow that to allow, allowed that her to her, so she just grimaced instead. You're hurt, so don't move. What happened to Zuki? That's a creep. Kamiya glanced at her leg and paused. Oh. No, it was bandaged by the time I came here. Did Itsuki do that then? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's my one person who could have done that. Did he realize that he'd overdid it? Or was that an act of pity? So we had a kind of fight upstairs, and after that he left. Kamiya, have you heard about some sort of self-destruct mechanism in this school? 
本当にそんなものがあるなら学園の設計図でも見れば何かわかるかもしれないけれど。Oh, that's good. I see. He said it was a rumor. But if he was serious about it, design plans would be, placed, would be a place he'd start to. But before looking for them, we had to do something about, about Kamiya's leg. That's right. And Suki told me something about your succumbing to the side effects of that thing. Are you alright l now? Saki wa. Kyuni kowaku natte. Mukashi no koto. Omoi taste. Soda. Shiryo o mitsuketa no. Okay, the paper with my father's signature on it? So. So Mia was about to start rummaging through her bag, but. Wait, we have to bring this to the infirmary first. There are a few other things I'd like to discuss too. So. Wakata. She slowly tried to stand up. You won't be able to walk with that leg. I'll carry you. <gasps> oh, come on, it's only reasonable. Don't even make a deal about this. Aww. I coiled my hands around her shoulders and, and knee pits. That's an interesting word, knee pits! And stood up. It was basically a princess carry hold. Kamiya didn't resist too much, probably because it would have hurt too. She seemed both depressed and embarrassed about the whole thing. Pretty light, it's not a problem. Also, if you don't want me to put my hand on your breast, you better hold tighter to me, okay? <laughs> that, that almost sounds like a threat. I tried to lighten the mood, which resulted in her giving me a look of disbelief. Which didn't change to a look of reproach. Nope, just making sure you're awake. Where did that come from? I just said it for your sake. Oh, that is not even close. That's. <sighs> the idea might have crossed my mind. Oh, fetch! <laughs> yeah. You know what a loaded question is? We return back to the old principal's room in a slightly lighter mood. And that's what we're probably going to end it for tonight. Holy crap, that was intense. Oh, oh my gosh. This is... I don't know. I, I Like I said last time, I feel like the writing's... It's okay. It's decent. It definitely knows how to ratchet up the suspense. Uh, so I appreciate that. I am curious to figure out what the heck's going on now that we're finally starting to put some pieces together. Like, I was a little worried it was having too many loose ends, but it, it looks like it's trying to go after them now, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me for this episode. Uh, you know, it's it's always a pleasure to be able to look at these games, and, um, and like, I don't know. I don't think there's anything as such a good... Like, I, I know people have mentioned, like, how this series isn't doing as well as my other two series, but, I mean, that's just the nature of YouTube, the nature of Let's Plays, and I, I'm enjoying it, so we're gonna keep going. But anyway... I just want to say thank you for those of you who are watching. It really means a lot to me. I'd love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments. You know, I just want to know, like, what, like what, what's the things that are striking out to you? Um, do you think Itsuki is, like, just bat crap crazy? Or does he, uh, like, have an actual motive that makes sense? Because now we're starting to see there could be some humanity left to him, despite his insanity. Um, and then the other thing is, do you think Ayana's recoverable at this point? Like, she seems to be completely out of it. But... I don't know. I just want to know what your thoughts are. So thank you so much for watching with me. Thank you for being here. And until the next video you watch with me or whatever you see me in next, I'll see you there.